Our next student is Adriana Bonremos, who is studying chemistry. Her thesis is titled Structure versus Function, How Similar Proteins Can Do Different Chemistries. Adriana. You have undoubtedly encountered the word protein before, perhaps while reading the nutrition label of a certain food. In that context, proteins are nothing more than a contributor to the caloric content of that food. But in the bigger picture, they are a lot more than that. Proteins are an essential component of the cellular machinery that keeps every single organism on Earth alive. You can think of them as miniature devices that perform and regulate the myriad of biochemical reactions that keep your body functioning. They're so important that your DNA contains enough information to produce 20,000 different proteins. All of them are made of 20 primary building blocks, analogous to the color beads on the screen. And just like the beads on a string, they can be combined in countless different ways, and in principle, folded in thousands of different conformations. However, to date, we have only found 400 protein scaffolds or shapes, despite the fact that the structure for thousands of proteins has been solved. Importantly, two proteins with the same structure don't necessarily perform the same function, and two proteins that look nothing like each other can do the same chemistry. So because of their fundamental role, not only in life, but also in death and disease, my lab is interested in understanding how proteins work. You could say we're trying to crack the protein code, and what that means is we want to know how a certain combination of building blocks gives rise to a certain chemistry. In particular, we're interested in the tunneling fold superfamily of enzymes. This is a very small family of proteins, um, and they all have the same shape. Their shape is analogous to two donuts stacked on top of each other, as you can see in the structure on the screen. And despite the fact that they all look very much the same, they are found in all sorts of organisms, from humans to plants to bacteria that live in volcanic vents. And they look very much the same, but they do all very different chemistries. So in order to study these proteins, we look at different things. For instance, we look at how fast they catalyze a reaction, or what their three-dimensional structure is. And on occasion, we go to a certain position in their um, structure, and we swap those primary building blocks. And then we look at what the properties of the resulting protein are like. By doing this, so far we have managed to understand some of the structural features within the tunneling fold architecture that are essential for the different chemistries that we find in this family. Our goal, however, is not only to understand how individual members of this family work, but how evolution gives rise to different chemistries. And our only hope is that we can use this understanding for a better life through chemistry. Thank you.